Hi, good morning to Mr. Siwan and my fellow classmates. Today, we are going to present with a topic Ubuntu Operating System versus Windows Operating System. The overview of our presentation will be introduction, background, in-depth review, and conclusion. So let us start off our presentation with an introduction. Throughout the entire process, you will be aware of the background of Ubuntu Operating System and Window Operating System, and why there is a demand for such technique, implementation, and product. Other than that, we will find out about the application that are used by Ubuntu Operating System and Window Operating System. We also include the detailed technical view of these operating system. We chose this topic because they are the most arguable topic, as these systems have always been used in many computer devices. We are going to start off this presentation by talking about the background of the operating system. For Ubuntu operating system, it consisted of Linux operating system. It is first initiated in October 2004, named Warty Warthog, version 4.10, and it is built on architecture and infrastructure of Debian, is an operating system and an open source software. It provides services to both community and professional support. Next, there also consist of thousands of pieces of software, beginning with the Linux kernel version 5.4 and GNOME 3.28. It can withstand every standard aspect of every desktop application. For instances, word processing, web server software, email software, programming, languages, tools, and computer games. Other than that, Ubuntu is remarkably recognized operating system for cloud computing. The operating system will update once in six months with an LTS, long-term support, release once in two years. Long-term support provides updates for hardware, security, and Ubuntu stack. While as for window operating system, there are many exceptional features application that provided by window operating system. One example of it, that it will pre-installed Microsoft Office into the operating system. It has better experiences compared to other operating system, which made it so that window has the biggest option for software on its platform. This benefits users, as they are able to choose software from a wider option. Next, we will be talking about what is the application for each operating system. For Ubuntu operating system, Steam, and WordPress desktop client is the application. During this decade, playing games on Ubuntu operating system is a real deal now. There are up to thousands of games in Steam that are available for Ubuntu operating system. But it required user to have a minimum hardware required to play games in Steam. And WordPress Desktop Client is an application that allow user to easily write and edit blog posts without getting interrupted by other browsers tab. It also enables user to quickly access it. While as for window operating system, the application is Notepad and Paint 3D Notepad is a software that allows users to create, edit, and save simple text files. Notepad is not much feature, it is only for some minimal formatting abilities such as indentation and line spacing. Next is Paint 3D, it is a software that allow user to doodle and scribble on it. It includes both basic and advanced art tools. Next, we will be talking about the in-depth review for each operating system. For Ubuntu, there are many reasons to use Ubuntu Linux that make it a worthy Linux distro. It is free and is open source. It is very customizable and has a software center full of apps. There are a lot of different Linux distributions designed to serve different needs and uses. While as for Windows, it is a multitasking, multi-user, and multi-threading operating system. It supports virtual memory management systems for it to do multi-programming. Symmetric multiprocessing allows it to schedule various tasks on different CPU core in a multiprocessor system. Next, we will be talking about the differences of OS compared to other. For Ubuntu, Ubuntu supports emerging technologies. Ubuntu is the best OS for developers because of the various libraries, examples, and tutorials. These features help a lot in using AI, ML, and DL, unlike many other OS. For Windows, Windows can run on any machine compared to some like Mac that runs only on specific machines. Without a doubt, Windows has the biggest selection of software available for its platform than any other operating system. The benefit of this is that users get to choose from a wider variety of options. This creates healthy competition for users, where software developers really must push boundaries to produce the best program possible. And now comes the pros and cons of each OS, the advantages of Windows or it is compatible as an operating system that can support most applications and Windows provides an easy, smooth, and user-friendly interface. Next come to the disadvantages of Windows operating system. One of the major disadvantages of Windows is that it is not free to use. Users need to pay a price, even if they want to upgrade to the latest version of Windows. Windows has a high consumption rate of resources of computer machines like RAM when compared to Ubuntu. Next come to the advantages of Ubuntu operating system. It is available free of cost for both personal and professional use. Ubuntu provides an easy user interface, and most of the time, the users can avoid the hassle of installation of drivers with this operating system. Next, the disadvantages of Ubuntu operating system. Users need to be tech savvy to use Ubuntu. 
users who are not familiar with command line will find it difficult to use Ubuntu, and the other drawback with Ubuntu is that the support for some of the hardware components and software applications does not match the standard provided by Windows. Finally, here comes our conclusion. In conclusion Ubuntu is very different from the typical window operating system that us normal folks used to. If security, content creation, and access to open source software are not your first concerns, choose Windows. You'll be on the same page as most other businesses. And if you are a system developer, or are learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and deep learning, you should choose Ubuntu as it is a good OS for development and programming. It is also consistent across various other platforms, and are also very flexible of hardware upgrade and an appealing user interface. And that is all from us, thank you.